Okay, so I'm just going to do a quick uh, little tutorial about um, creating aliases in uh, CMOD, just to help out people that might be having some troubles. Uh, so firstly, um, obviously log into our game. Um, and go up here in this top bar here. There's obviously a couple of different ways you can get into this stuff. Um, you can go to the editor, you can just go to aliases. So since we want to make an alias, it makes sense, we'll just open up the aliases. And uh, let me just resize this for you. So then you'll get this window pop up uh, somewhere on your screen. Um, and for me, obviously, I've got all these extra ones. It's just because these are extra windows. Now, on the side here is what's actually visible. So at the moment, it's only showing aliases. I usually find it easier just to have uh, the magnifying glass selected, which is all settings. Um, so by default, you'll just have like one window, which will be your game window. Um, but what I usually do is make a, a package folder, because it's a lot easier to hold all your scripts. Um, to do that, you just go File. So when you first get into this, it'll probably be blank. Um, let's go File, New Package, and name it whatever you want. So, you know, my, like, what mod test. We'll just call it that for now. And that'll give you something like this. So, ignore mine now. We'll just start fresh. Um, you want this to be global, which means it'll basically, uh, all your, uh, all your windows will take, uh, scripts from it, so that, um, it will push it to, like, uh, your entire client, basically. Um, so now, now you've got your, your little package and you want to make an alias, um, you just go to this, new, and then alias, and then the top bit is, um, what you... What you type in to create the alias, so like say if you want to go, um, what's a good example? Uh, we'll go like, uh, we'll just go something like TST. And then we'll get it to do, hello, no, we want to say, don't we? Say, hello everyone. Okay, now, so the top bit is what you will type in to the actual MUD, into the client, and the bottom bit is what the uh, the alias will replace that with. Um, you can use this wizard thing, but I find it a little bit clunky, um, it doesn't really work too well, so I generally just stick with the, uh, the script text. Um, also, if you have scripts from someone else, you can just import them. So if you go File, Import XML. And then if we find some of them on my computer, uh, what mod, C mod, so like something like this thing, like, like a mend weapon one. So you open that, and you'll get this folder. So this is like I've created a folder. Um, to create those folders, it's just a new class. And they call them class rather than folder. Um, it's more just a programming term. You don't really need to worry about it. Um, so this is probably a really good one, because it, it gives you a trigger and an alias. So, the alias here is uh, Mend Weapon, or Mend Wep, sorry. Um, and then, what it does is, basically uses this, it gets stone, and then a container. So, a container is a, a variable. Um, so, you can set up your container as like a backpack, or a pouch, or something. Um, and then it holds the stone, removes your weapon, so again, weapon's a variable you can set, whether it's using a blade, an axe, whatever. Um, sits down and then mends. And then the trigger here is whenever it sees from the client, you begin finishing off the edges of, and then the, um, the star there is just a, a wild card, so it could be anything. So when you start finishing the edges of anything... Um, it'll stand, wield your weapon, remove the stone, and then put the stone back in your backpack. So that's a pretty, pretty good example of using uh, using both of them. Um, and then that's pretty much it. Like, So you can create aliases for pretty much anything you want, you know, and then get it to do whatever you want, really. Like, So you can go... You can even do things like... Um, Let's go back into there. So, like, say, KDS, and then get it to do kill hidden dot darks hidden dark or something. Um, 
Then you can also create macros if you want. So a macro is a bit different. It's kind of like an alias, but it's more just a specific key. So you'd make like G your key for um, diag hidden dark. And then whenever you push the G key, it'll it'll do that. So you don't even have to push enter. You just press G and it'll immediately do that. So for PK, a lot of people will use macros instead of aliases. Um, just gets a little bit quicker. Um, what else can we show you? So that's all your aliases. Oh, of course, variable. So if you want to make a variable, make it like that. Call it, or well, we might as well call it container, I guess, because we had that in in here. So see how that's gone blue now? It's because it's actually a container variable. Um, so variable, so we'll make our container backpack. And if we go into our mend weapon alias and hover it, you see it says backpack. So when it says get stone, it'll replace it with whatever's in that variable. So you, it'll go get stone backpack, and you'll get you'll um, get a, a stone for your backpack, which is usually an oil stone or a sandstone. Um, you can actually specify, like you could say oil stone if you wanted to, um, but get stone will generally work. Um, what else is in here? Uh, so I don't think you really need to know about any of these other ones just yet. Um, the triggers, I'll just show you them quickly. Um, you can use the pattern just to test them, but essentially it's easy. Essentially it's just you're putting in what the pattern is, so it might be like, the day has begun, dot, and then what you want to happen. So you might go get lantern at container. Or I mean, you could just go get lantern pouch if you want to be super easy. Um, and then you can either, if you put in a semicolon, it'll split the lines. That's what you used to have to do in the old ZMUD ones. Um, you don't have to do that in, in CMUD though. You can just go enter and make a new line. Um, so then here you just go hold lantern. Or I mean, and exactly. So you got get lantern, pouch, hold lantern, done. Save it. You got a trigger. Um, and that's about it, really. And you can just save your packages. Um, and then, when you uh, when you load up your game, you'll uh, and then you'll have something like this, and you've got all your kind of your package with uh, any of your class folders. Um, and then obviously your uh, your game window comms and rates, um, and that'll all kind of look like this. There's my game window comms all come into here, and rates come into here. I get towels as well as separate windows and obviously the map over here. Um, and this is the actual game window where you do everything. Right. It's probably timed out on me. Yeah, That's alright, we'll leave it offline for the moment. Um, so we go back into the editor. And yeah, you can obviously enable or disable these as you want. Uh, you can disable the whole package if you want. Um, and then yeah, you can just create you know, alias is in here, you can, like, we've got the mend weapon one in here, so you can, uh, import people's, um, import people's, uh, scripts and stuff in here and just organize it however you want. Uh, that's probably enough for now, though. So, if, uh, if people have any more questions or something, I'll, uh, I'll make another one, uh, going into more details. Um, yeah, hopefully that'll, uh, help anyone out that needs some help with it.